that was really the most thoughtful, thoughtful, thoughtful gift that I have ever received in my life, so... Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be a birthday book haul. All these books I have been kindly gifted for my birthday. There's actually only one book that I bought myself, but I used it with a Waterstones voucher that I got from my husband's nana. So it doesn't technically count. I'm really trying to stick to a book buying ban and doing like a five or ten before I buy kind of vibe, but We'll see how that goes. Anyway, without further ado, because there's a little bit to go through, let's just get into it. So the first book I have here is Wandering Souls by Cecil Pinn. This is my book club's read of the month. My sister chose this one because she read it, I think, a couple months ago and absolutely loved it. She's saying, like, this is my favorite book, I think, and she really wants to reread to annotate, so she picked this as our book club's read. And when we were at Waterstones picking up my copy, this woman, like, stopped me and was like, I just want to let you know, like, that is a wonderful book. And I think this is a much more emotional and thought-provoking reads as it follows siblings from Vietnam who flee their country and their home to and then they find themselves in Thatcher's Britain and although it kind of deals with that historical aspect it also deals with the very real um, sacrifices that people who move to a foreign country and have to flee their homes have to go through so I feel like this is going to be I don't know, just like an amazing read already. So very, very excited. Okay, next up we have these two bad boys. I read Pumpkin Spice Cafe last year. And although it's not anything life changing, I loved the cozy atmosphere that that brought. So we have Cinnamon Bun Bookstore, which I think would be perfect for November. And then The Christmas Tree Farm, which would be perfect in December. So these are the two books that I really want to get to very soon. These covers are just the most, ah, they're just so cute. I love them. I believe there's like some sort of like mystery as well in each of them like a very like cozy plot of mystery as well as romance in these and i don't know i'm just really excited i don't actually know what the plot is for these two and to be honest like i said because there's not much plot to the first book i'm not expecting too much from these two so i'm probably just gonna let it let it surprise me a little bit and oh my god i love these and then now i'm annoyed as well because the pumpkin spice cafe i thought i had the first copy of i read it on my kindle so now I have to go find it just so I can have like this cozy little just cute. Next up we have A Court of Mist and Fury. I actually haven't read Akatar, but I think I'm just preempting. I don't know. Wait, no, I think I picked up a third book in a charity shop and I was kinda like, I should really get the second one. So it was on my wish list and my husband picked this up for me. Another one in a series that is not even the first book, and I haven't even read the first book, but because I have the first book, I have to have the second book. Wild Eyes by Elsie Silver. I still haven't got around to this. I just don't know. I'm really scared that it's just not gonna like live up to the hype because a lot of people have low key said that because of Chestnut Springs series just being like absolutely the best thing in the entire world. Um, I'm a big Chestnut Springs girl. I also have Off to the Races, which is the Eaton Boys sister who, and it's like her and her friends who are like the forefront of that series, I'm pretty sure. And then I also heard that these are all like single dads. I mean, I loved Heartless, so actually maybe I will leave this up. So you'll notice that I don't know much about the blurbs because I tend to pick up a book because I've heard someone kind of talk about it or I've seen it or somewhere and it's intrigued me. I look at the blurb and I'm like, okay, yeah, I like that, put it on my wish list. And then I kind of just forget about it. So unless it's like overly talked about on like social media, I probably won't remember too much. But this one involves a chart topping country singer with a recent streak of bad press. He's like a horse trainer in a small town and she's like a, like a big singer and he's a single dad and she ends up obviously getting with him. That does sound fun. <laughs> and because clearly I am a big cowboy romance girly, we have Holding the Reins by Paisley Hope and I have heard such high regard for this book and I'm so excited because again, I'm trying to fill that void that Chestnut Spring series left. So hopefully this might also, I don't know, make me happy. Follow Cece Ashby. She basically goes back to her small town and her family's ranch. I love that setting already. Um, there is, oh, a recently retired hockey superstar, Nash Carter, from their hometown. That's interesting, because I love a sports romance too. I don't need to say anything else, very excited. I really wanted to read this for the like spooky season, but obviously we're now in November, so it's kind of like annoying, because I don't know, I'm just really particular with spooky romances, but we have Haunt Your Heart Out by Amber Roberts, and doesn't that look just like 
the best cover for a spooky romance. He's a documentary filmmaker looking into the town's haunted landmarks and she has an anonymous vlog with viral ghost stories. So then they kind of obviously band together, right? So that sounds really fun actually. So maybe I don't have to wait all the way until spooky season next year just to get to that one so those were some of the books that i picked up now i have some books that i was very very kindly gifted by the book club girlies on my bookstagram um really really grateful for them so let's let's go through these this one is from Gemma at books.with.boo. Happy birthday, read this in the summer and loved it, so hope you do too. It's Sunburn by Chloe Michelle Howarth. It's definitely a contemporary fiction. I think it's like a coming of age story with a little bit of like unhinged female main character in it, I believe. So I've also heard very good things about this one, so I can't wait to read this. Ooh, Demon Copperhead, which I have heard such good things about. Is there a note? Is there a note? Sarah at A Cottage of Books, wishing you a very happy birthday, best wishes. This I have heard wonderful things about and when I put it on my wish list I saw like how high of like reviews people have left it again I think it's one of those contemporary fictions that are very thought-provoking and very emotional um, and we follow a child who basically um, is I believe he's just out of luck in a sense that he grew up around addiction and poverty so yeah this has had such great oh winner of the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction as well and Women's Prize for Fiction 2023 winner obviously this is great so bumping this up on a tbr that's for sure we have home before dark by riley sager 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 What's i hate when they don't have notes it only came with like the receipt well whoever got this for me from the book oh no is it stuck <gasps> ah yes a gift from at x underscore miss underscore mccray underscore x happy birthday enjoy your reads home before the dark by riley sager i absolutely enjoyed the last Riley Sager book I read which was um the only one left oh my god did I love it because I can't remember the title I love his take on thrillers because it's so spooky like it's almost like a horror so really excited I don't know if to just read you guys what the blurb is but it just takes so long but yeah basically her parents moved into a rambling Victorian estate called Bainbury Hall and then they spent three weeks there and then they fled in the dead of night and she's basically um back at this property and she's like what is going on because ghosts aren't real right question mark question mark okay i feel happy birthday love from Alyssa at book.nerd.1990 we have m train by patty smith i have just kids by patty smith which is like a cult favorite but i just haven't got around to it i just don't know why i feel like i just picked this up anyway because this is the other patty smith book that everybody talks about and i just love the cover like i just love the covers of her books so i i'm gonna make a point of reading that i'm gonna make a point of reading that oh i know that cover from Sarah at A Cottage of Books, an extra birthday book for this month. Oh, Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. Um, I have heard such good things about this in a sense of it's such a cozy fantasy. So there's an orc barbarian and she's hanging up her sword for good because she's now opening up her new coffee shop, which is like the first one in her town or village. And it's like her dream come true. Like they don't know what coffee is. Oh my God, wait, this is so cute. I cannot wait to read this because sometimes I read really like intense and dark and sad and emotional reads i need books in my life that's just like a bit of a palate cleanser and i feel like this would be perfect for it right and i've got quite a few like deep books this this month so this will definitely come in handry handry handy i think this one didn't have a Oh, okay, well, whoever got me The Courage to be Disliked by Ichiro Kishimi and Fumitake Koga, thank you so much. This is a book that's been going all around TikTok, and to be honest, like, I am trying so hard to get back into my, like, self-help books if I'm going to be transparent with you. Um, your girl needs it, and um, I actually genuinely feel like people who reviewed this would, like, yeah it is worth the hype so thank you so much to whoever got this for me because i was really looking forward to getting this this was on my to buy list so now i can just be super grateful that someone did it for me so thank you so much for the birthday gift whoever that was i'm so sorry that there's no no i hate when amazon does that a gift from matamini books reviews i hope you enjoy it happy birthday intermezzo by sally rooney i've actually only started one of her books 
but I already, I don't know, I just don't reach out for them. But this one, something about the plot of this book really reached out to me. I love anything to do with siblings who are all grown up and they're not necessarily like the closest and there's like friction there, but it follows like their life separately and how it intertwines. I love stuff like that. That's why I really want to read Blue Sisters. I'm just waiting for it to come out on paperback. I've heard really mixed reviews about this one, but because of the plot and what it's about, I feel like maybe me personally, I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. So fingers crossed that it's going to be a great read. So one is from Lucy at MRSKP underscore reads. And she kindly gifted me Nothing Like the Movies by Lynn Painter. Better Than the Movies was a five star for me. I absolutely loved it. However, I've seen people say this kind of ruined it. But you know what? I don't care because I really enjoy Better Than the Movies. I'm gonna make my own mind up about it. Where's got his dream gone then lost her? <gasps> Oh, okay, so something happened before they went to college. I'm hoping it's a second chance romance, but I'm a big second chance romance fan. And I'm gonna really enjoy kind of seeing them go from like high schoolers to like college kids. So I don't know, I just feel like I'm still gonna really enjoy this. I cannot wait to read this one. And then we have from books underscore and a brew. Happy birthday, I've heard good things about this one. I'm really excited. Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. This was on Kindle Unlimited and I downloaded it ages ago. And then for some reason I had to reset my Kindle and then it was like no longer on Kindle Unlimited. So whatever. Um, re really excited. Everyone has said that this is actually quite funny, very dark. She's a serial killer. Um, there's accidental cannibalism involved, whatever. I'm reading Tenderest of Flesh right now. So that kind of doesn't face me at the moment. Very, very excited to read this one because I've just heard that it's just a fun fun read for what it's about it's a it's a fun read last but not least not that it is um more important than the others but it was the most thoughtful gift i have ever received in my entire life if you follow me on tiktok or um, instagram you may have seen my story on my video um talking about this but um for some backstories uh, i am a huge goosebumps kid i am a huge goosebumps kid to this day that is where my love for reading and horror and thrillers all kind of came from like i just loved goosebumps goosebumps and scooby-doo if you ask my parents if there's two things that they need to know about me it's goosebumps and scooby-doo those were i was about those two things so when i was younger i collected every single goosebumps i had the choose your own adventures i had the specials that came out where there was like multiple of them in like um in one thicker book i had that one with like the slime at the front like the one that you could squish like i was a diehard fan i went into point horror and everything else because point horror did some like rl stein books but goosebumps was definitely where it was at for me um so fast forward to 13 i'm a cool teenager i don't care about stuff like that let me sell my whole box set for like 10 pounds or something silly like that at a boot sale didn't think about it for about 10 years cut to like late 20s i find myself realizing how important it was to me because I look for it and it was something that I was like I wish I could kind of pass that on to my kids like and then I always oh my god I'm getting emotional think about it and when I had um my friend's birthday in early October be like we were asking like these deep questions to each other and going around and blah 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 and the question was a very loaded question it was um hey guys like what is your biggest regret in life and obviously there's so many things that I think I regret in life to an extent but my biggest regret in life which really surprised me was apparently selling my goosebumps books because it just came out of me and it was funny because when i said that my best friend that i've been besties with since we were like actual kids was like you sold that really like it was like that deep if that made sense everybody just knew how important that was to me fast forward to my 31st birthday my lovely lovely husband went and got me 62 of the original Goosebumps books in here. 62 of them. They're all in here and they're all in like wonderful condition. Look at these. Like, and it even has like, do you remember when they'd have like the ads kind of like in the middle of the books like this? And honestly, this is like, I keep saying it like to be known is to be loved. And this man proved that wholeheartedly by scouting and finding a whole set and yes i was trying to get you all the other ones but you know honestly like this is the best and like i just i was just so happy and then like he was like i want you to have like a special shelf for them so we're looking at like building just like a nice little shelf here in my office where i could just have it there and then i can't wait to have kids and i don't know if it's appropriate but it's going to be like what i want to read them and everything else but yeah that was really the most 
thoughtful, thoughtful, thoughtful gift that I have ever received in my life. So yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.